Google Forms are an extremely versatile tool, and many DPS teachers have found that Google Form checklists can help students stay organized with their learning tasks in the classroom, and even more so in a remote learning situation. So let's jump right in and learn how to do this. You will first need to be logged into your DPS Google account. Next, click on your app switcher and select forms. Note all of the useful templates provided here. Let's click on a blank form. Fill in the title of your form here. And here. Click here to put in your first question, which really won't be a question at all. Make the responses check boxes. Now, list the items you want your students to participate in. When you are finished, click here to preview the checklist. This is what your students will see when they receive it. They will be able to check each box as they contribute the items you've assigned to them, and it will help them stay organized. Students will just ignore this submit button since this is a list for their use only. Go to the send button, click on this link button, and copy this link so you can send it to your students. Paste that link into an email to your students, your learning management system, or wherever you want them to access that link. You're done. This is the end of the basic creation tutorial, so you can stop here if you'd like, but if you want to know how to change the theme of your form, such as add color, adding colors and images, continue watching. So here, you're going to click on the Customize Theme Palette. Note all of the ways you can change the look and feel of this form. Down here, you can choose a color scheme. Note that then you get choices for the background color of your form. And here, you can choose one of four fonts. Click on the Choose Image button in the header and check out your choices. You can look through these categories to find one that works for you. Insert it. Notice that when you select an image, the colors that go with that image are now the only choices available for customization of this form. Now that you have your theme the way you like it, close this window and click the preview button. Looks great. Just a reminder, you get the link to this form by clicking the send button and the link button. Copy and paste this link for your students anywhere you want them to access it. But wait, Erin, what if I change the form and I've already sent the link to my students, you ask? Just tell students to refresh their pages and your changes will show on their end. It will remove their check marks, but they'll remember what they've done what they haven't and recheck their own boxes. That's it. Enjoy Google Forms.